Okay. Cool. My name is Ian. I'm from Easy Allies. And I'm here to make a zine, something I've never done before and have no skill doing. Woo! <laughs> uh, this is Electric Zine Maker by Alien Melon. And uh, let's make a zine. Uh, so, yeah. What uh, should we make a zine about? I'll take suggestions from chat i've got my easy allies chat up and the indicate chat up uh which when you see me looking way over here that's what i'm doing because whatever long story i've got a big dumb stupid wide monitor bears all right that sounds good so let's find a stock image of a bear That's a cute one. I'm going to download this bear. All right, let's go to the cover for bears. All right, uh, where'd it go? Import image, import small bear. Oh, that's not, <laughs> that's not going to conform. Oh. You know what? I'm going to embrace it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is already sweet. Okay. Uh So this is uh part of Indicade summer stuff. I've got some info for later, but if you want to submit a game for Indicade, do that until the 30th there's also a zine jam i'll put these up throughout the stream there's a zine jam if you go and get the game which you can do at itch.io the address you can see right there you can get this this tool i guess game right now and then you can join this zine jam which is open until the 30th you got two days to make a kick-ass zine uh yeah so do that and then, uh, but yeah, if you have a game you want to submit to Indicade, you got some time left. What's a good, like, bear color? Like a purple? Bears. Bears, bears. And then just... So that we can, what's a good font? Bonschrift Semi-Light. Font size, 70. Done. There. Now in case you can't read my handwriting, you've got, you've got the, the oh, a hat, okay. I wonder if I can, uh. I saw Penn doing something that looked really cute, so let me see if I can do this. We'll draw we'll draw a pattern of a hat. Like a Smokey the Bear hat for sure. I am not a drawer, by the way. This is like a Smokey the Bear hat take my word for it it looks kind of like, kind of like a butt or something but um well it's like a pilgrim hat i guess with the buckle on here how do you color stuff in does one color stuff in oh okay i'm using a mouse too i have a Wacom tablet bamboo sitting right in front of me that I didn't really think about until just now. <laughs> but I haven't used it in a very long time, so I don't know if it would work, if it would need drivers, if I would have to reset the... Oh, God. I feel like it looked more like a hat before I tried to color it in. Now we're going to get into the, like, McDonald's logo. Oh, boy. <laughs> All 
All right. All right. Sure. That's a hat. <laughs> Just take my word for it. So now how does this work? Oh my god. <laughs> so now we can pattern stamp this little hat <laughs> all over the place. So now he's got like eight hats on, but now we've covered up our bear's text. So let's Okay, let's try Balboa. Really visible color, like yellow. Nope, that's impossible to read. Ooh, that's a nice one. 73. Oh, that's gorgeous. All right, and now I definitely want this to look like crappy Netscape. Ooh, do we like Floyd, Dither, or Stucky? What do we think, chat? They all look pretty great. Stucky's pretty great. Oh, Dither? Okay. Dither. All right, that's our cover. We've only got like an hour and some change to make a full zine. We'll definitely use Stucky on the next page. All right, so that's the cover. Export? Wait. Uh, do I just close that? Okay. So that's our cover. So now the inside front cover, is that where we... That's like the the credits page, maybe? We should have some bear facts, too. What are some facts about a bear? The bear is a hacker. <laughs> you put the crossword on that page? Okay. So we're going to make a crossword puzzle real quick. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, let's see. We're going to make a crossword puzzle by hand. We're going to make it big because we don't have all the time in the world. So we have to... Wait, I'm going to need it to be five long. Okay, so the answer... Okay. One, across. We need something that says across. One. Name of this zine. Hey, wait, where do I... How do I tell it where to put this text? It just throws the text where it wants? That can't be right. Mm -hmm. Settings. No. How do I move you? Ah, there we go. Across. One. Name of this zine. So that's B-E-A-R-S. So then, yeah, all the answers are going to be bears for sure. <laughs> that's... That's for sure what I'm trying to do. Uh, but I don't know if that will work. But we can do... Uh, okay, so that's that. And then we could do... Down. One. Same as one across. <laughs> so that's bears and bears. So that means that the whole the answers can't all be bears. <laughs> okay, but let's if we fill in some of these, we can make it easier. So that one's filled in. I'm gonna have to like write this down. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, Huber's favorite animal. Bears. Okay. One, two, three, four. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Bears. Bears. I made that one filled in, so... Mm. Okay, so that means this one, the third one, down, starts with an A. 
A P P L E. We could do apple. Bears. Let's bears. I assume that bears like fruit, right? Three, four, five. How do these work? Do you put a six here? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's been a while since I've done a crossword. Is this how you number a crossword? Maybe not every single one gets a number. Whatever. This is how our crossword works. This is a travesty. <laughs> 21, 22. Things get real theoretical there toward the end. All right. So three down. Bear's favorite fruit. Bear's favorite red fruit. So that's an apple. I'm writing them down in, in this field notebook so that we can figure this out because this is getting too crazy. Okay, so then <laughs> that means that 11 across... <laughs> I don't think this is how... I don't think this is how crosswords work. Same as three down. <laughs> it's just apple again. Okay, so now we've got R blank, L blank, blank. Rel, rally, R-A-L-L-Y, that's a word, right? Uh, So that would be four down fave racing car that's rally it's blank to see a ba oh rare i could have done that oh wait i've Oh, wait. Okay, so wait. I've uh, painted myself into a bit of a corner here with... So I've got a P and an A right here. So we could say, like... Okay, so then this is S blank E Y. And down here is S blank E Y. So we could do... Oh, I know, I know, I know. So we're going to make 10... Oops. We're going to make 10... A blank space. And eight across will be eight. Whoop, eight. Daddy bear. <laughs> oh, crap. Now that's stuck up there. Okay. You move it before you paste it in. Okay, eight across is daddy bear, and the answer is pa. I'm sort of spoiling you on these answers. Uh, oh, yeah. So if you get the game, there's that zine jam. Here's the address for the game. Uh, okay, so we've got pa. That one's blank. So then down here, we've got s blank, e, y blank. So we could make this i. E-Y-E, -E. and then that would mean that 12 down is the same. Yeah, let's just do that. We've only got an hour to make this scene here, people. Okay. Uh, so 12 down, same as 8 across. Well, that's way too small. We're running out of space. Okay, and then... Uh, <laughs> you'll like this one. 23 across. Bears. Favorite.
gouging location. Is that how you spell gouging? Is there an E in that? Gou... No, that doesn't look right. How do you spell gouging? Uh, 15, maybe. We can go, we can go a little bigger than that. We mustn't be afraid to dream a little bigger, darling. Nobody knows how to spell gouging, so we'll just go with it. All right. So this is the crossword. Ooh, that's a fun font. Got too big. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I like that font. Sinzel Black. Okay, gouging is correct. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So this is our second page. It's a crossword puzzle. Perfect, perfect, beautiful crossword. Oh, I have to black out this space. People would have been so confused. Okay, we did it. All right. That's the inside front cover. Now page one. We got to get some bare facts in here, right? Bare facts. It always defaults to that font. Thought that's a dopamine for a second. Great vibes. That's illegible. Oh, that one's weird. Okay. Ooh, so classy. Too big though. Let's left justify that. Heavens to Murgatroyd, there we go. Bare facts. Okay. And then now we'll just have images <laughs> of, of bare facts. So yeah, they love porridge. So I'll draw a bowl of porridge. Porridge is like tan, right? Yeah, that's some good porridge. Get some heat lines. Whoa, what did I do? No, I don't want to do that. Porridge. Whoops, I forgot to move that. Porridge is a really weird word. Dogs and bears have a common ancestor? Is that true? It's going in the book. We'll draw a picture of a dog. Wish me luck. It's going well. <laughs> Dogs have a little nose. And a tongue sticking out. Dogs and bears have a co common 
ancestor, apparently. Does apparently have one P or two P's? We'll just go for broke and put four P's in there. Dogs and bears have a common ancestor, apparently. Yes, yes. Uh, okay. Oh, you just used the word apparently. 42 million years ago. Uh, a bear knocked over the birdhouse at my dad and his second wife's house. Actually, it's like a bird feeder. But whatever. Bears plus bird feeder feeders equals uh oh that's gotta be smaller. And I do know that when you're camping you have to hang your uh food up from a tree branch or the bears will get it, you know? This is a tree. Leave me alone. <laughs> so you've got like a cooler And then you gotta put ropes around it, put it up in a tree so bears don't get after it. If you're camping, hang your f food up off the ground. Ground. And this fact applies to this image. Yeah, that's a good bear facts page. What do you think? Cool. We're trucking. We're doing good. Doing well. All right. Well, actually, we're doing pretty poorly. We've got 35 minutes left and we've only done three pages. Uh, okay. So now, ooh, what about like bear types? What do you think of that? What's another bear thing we should do? There's a black bear. I'm getting an image. I'm getting a stock image from pexels.com. Free, royalty-free images. Oh, my God. This is a weird-looking bear. All right, I'm gonna download a black bear. Oh, that's a koala bear. Not really a bear, if I understand correctly. Panda bears, or not panda bears, polar bears. Grizzly bear. <laughs> this is a good one. Oh, yeah, top five fictional bears. That's a good page three. That's a great page three. Bears hate gentrification. That's probably true. All right. Import small. All right, types of bears. We've got, this is a black bear. Small means huge, apparently. What does that do? Oh, I see, I see. So you set that and then you say 100% width. Oh no, that's for the, I get it, okay. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Place and import another. Koala bear. Not a bear, to my knowledge. We'll put that down at the bottom, a little disclaimer. That that's not a bear. Don't get twisted. Here's a nice grizzly. Crap! I always forget to move it in the thing. Bear types. Fighter. That's this one. I just spell squeeze. That's not right. <laughs> squeeze. I spell squeeze. <laughs> that doesn't look right. Squeeze. Wow, what a weird, dumb word. All right, this one's a squeeze champ. Koalas suck, according to this zine. Yeah. Those are the only three, those are the only two bear types. Okay. So now page three was going to be top, top, what was it? Top eight? No. Top five fictional bears. We need a really special font for this. Ooh, that's almost entirely illegible. I love it. Why do you what? Why are you page breaking like that? Nice. Ooh, rotation. Let's give it a good fifteen. All right, top five fictional bears. Whoop. We'll have to draw these because we can't. I mean, number one. Hey, you all know number one. It's got to be my boy Paddington. And he's eating a marmalade sandwich. But I don't know how to draw that, so he's just going to be holding a marmalade sandwich out in front of himself. Marmalade's dripping down out of it. It's perfect. That's exactly what Paddington looks like. Number exclamation point. All right, that font is illegible. Come on, let's get serious. Yeah, Paddington number one. All right. The Berenstein Bears. I'm from that reality. I don't know if they'd make the cut. They're pretty weird. They they have some pretty weird weird issues. There's some weird stuff going on in there. Yeah, Pooh Bear, number two. What does Pooh Bear even look like? He's got like...
It's more like Tigger almost. Oh boy, Pooh Bear, what do you look like? Hang on, I need to look at what Pooh Bear looks like. Oh, Kung Fu Panda. Are pandas actually bears? Was I getting koalas and pandas twisted up? Pooh Bear, what do you look like? Hey, not bad. I was close. I just can't draw. He's got eyebrows. We know that. Who number two? Yeah. He's got no pupils. All right. Kung Fu Panda's pretty good. Not sure if... Oh, Care Bears, dude. Funshine Bear. Funshine Bear. Funshine Bear was my first toy as a kid. Did you know that? Don't know why you would know that. And I would watch Care Bears in Wonderland so much that the VHS broke. VHSs were like DVDs, which were like Netflix, but you put them in a thing. Funshine Bear. That tilde adds a little something. Number three. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Fozzie Bear, dude. Fozzie Bear. There are a lot of really good fictional bears. Hang on. Fozzie, my boy, what do you look like? What's Rolf? He's a dog, right? Oh, yeah, Fozzie's got the little Tom Waits hat. Big smile on Fozzie. The Hispaniola. I think that's the boat from Muppet Treasure Island. Fozzie, is it IE? Yeah, IE. Foozy. Did I put one too many? I put one too many O's in there. <laughs> Nothing I can do about it now. <laughs> Foozy. <laughs> oh yeah, the the bears from Tekken are pretty sweet. And Yogi the bear. Okay. Tied for fifth. Yogi. Tekken Tekken bears. Uh Baloo. Uh Smokey the bear. Probably. He's fine. But not those racist Berenstein bears. I remember a book. I think it was like hella racist. Whatever. We don't need that kind of negative energy in this zine anyway. But yeah, some of those old Berenstein bear books did not age super well. Oh, it, it just killed that. Crap. Oops. Tied for fifth, Yogi, Tekken Bears, Baloo, Smokey. Yeah. And Kung Fu Panda are Panda's Bears. Perfect. Oh, I didn't hit done. That was the issue before. Okay. Oh, wait. I forgot that I promised one of these would be Stucky. There we go.
Oh, it's perfect. Oops, I don't think I locked in that Stucky. Stucy. Okay. We're doing great. We got 20 minutes to finish the scene. Uh, so yeah, if you want to join the zine jam, go there. That's the address for the zine jam. All right, what are we on here? Page four. Okay, wait, what have we done? We've done front, inside, front, crossword puzzle. Page one is bear facts. Page two, types of bears. Page three, famous bears. What What's a good page four? Let's see here. Uh, best ways to get mauled by a bear. The potato's cute. It does stuff. It says like, yay, thanks for using this program. See, it's got, it says, like, cute little things. Ooh, a color by numbers bear. That's a great idea. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. So we're just going to draw the bear. Or should we use an image and have people color it in? No, we'll draw something. Okay. Let's draw a bear. Big old floofy face. And then he's probably got like a snout. They have kind of like a squarish snout, right? Do bears have whiskers? Well, they're all kind of, they're all just whiskers. All right. So he's got little eyes. Okay, and he's got a little cute, cutesy little mouth, a little smile. Hello. Okay. All right, now we put the numbers in. All right, so one. We gotta make these small so they're inobtrusive. Oh, now it's so small, I don't know where it went. One. Okay, one will be like brown. So that's all the brown. Okay. And then two can be, yeah, in there. And that can be like a light, lighter brown. <laughs> it's all just brown. Oh, I missed a one over there. Zines are fun. Who knew? Okay. Uh, three can be black. His little, little nosy, and his little pupils. Oh, that's too big. Minds thinking creatively. Okay. And then the mouth, they can do whatever they want. All right, so now, ooh. Okay. All right. 
color by numbers. Okay. So now we put the instructions down here. One. Brown. Two. Lighter. Brown. Three. Black. Four. What was four? Even. Lighter. Brown. Five. Follow your dreams. Here we go. That seems right, yeah? <laughs> Panda is still new. Black and white. Uh, uh, if you have a game you want to submit to Indicade, I've put the link on the on the screen there. Submissions right there. This is the greatest zine about bears that I've ever made. All right, two pages to go. Page five is like, this is like the big, just like the big, ooh, you know what? I'm inspired. I'm inspired by, so we're going to take, actually, ooh, 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 okay, okay, okay. I was inspired by the color by numbers idea. The expose interview. <laughs> That's a really good idea, too. We can do both. We can do my idea and that idea right under my idea. So my idea was, inspired by the paint by numbers, I wanted to, like, colorize a bear photo. Wait, though. This would be more fun if I find one that's already black and white. Let's see. Bear. All right. Searching again on... Oh, this will be a good this is good this is good pexels so these are all royalty free images so nobody get worried about that this is perfect for the expose interview oh crap i've spun it that'll be all right but i want to do like one of those old like old timey colorized things you know Where you give everybody like lipstick. Oh, but it's I need to I need to put the alpha to like thirty. Yeah, there we go. Oh my god. It's beautiful. It's black and white. It's not black and white. It's just a full of hair. <laughs> okay. Uh, I feel like for an expose interview, you've got to use, like, uh, not Comic Sans, Courier New. Interview with a bear. Bears zine. How does it feel to be n nature's perfect killing machine? Bear. <laughs> I just thought of a 
choke, but I won't do it. Uh, Caller by Numbear. We're going to go back and fix that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Rawr. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a pretty good interview with a bear. Oh, wait, we forgot about our... Oh, it didn't keep it. Okay. Woo! Bear's favorite food is fish. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we gotta make this one Floyd. Oh no, that's too crazy. <laughs> Instant pixel art. Yeah, that's pretty dope. All right. Salmon and blueberries? They like blueberries? All the salmon. The salmon only diet is probably pretty slimming. Okay. Uh what goes on the back? Well this is the this is the byline. But we're not we're not in it for the glory, so we just make it small. You know? All right. So now I think we haven't used the smear tool. That seems like a ridiculous font. 60, 60. Smudge. Ooh, that's pretty intense. Bears. That's the right idea. Oh yeah, make it look like whoosh, really fast. <laughs> Bears. Get Thanos. Spray, what's spray? Oh, how have we not been using spray? Ooh, too much spray. You know what? I like it. Oh, 
Oh my god. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> you wanna if this zine were on a shelf you'd buy him? Uh next stream, if you enjoy these zine making streams, the next stream is on Wednesday, July first, eleven AM six PM GMT with game developers Marcy Campos and Jesse Vigil. Tune in for that. Uh we're almost out of time here and we did complete this back page feels like it needs something else no that's too crazy i don't know holy crap there's more stuff i, I knew this i just forgot glass stamps oh oh Yeah. Color factory? Oh, God, what did I do? Okay. Blend and display. Smoosher? We must travel in a spiral. Runny ink, Helen chalk. Oh, cool. It's like little shooting stars or something. Runny ink. Ha! Oh! It's like a screen tear, like a wrap. Dotted. Scream into the void. Are you haunted by your own genius? Perhaps tormented by the pursuit for pure artistic intent, intent authenticity? Wow. All right, all right. Definitely. Things are getting really experimental here. We got into like a whole other part of this. Oh. Wow. You need to be smaller. Whoa. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> yeah. All right. This looks like this is our zine. I love our zine. <laughs> let's look through our zine okay so first we have bears a zine oh yeah 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 yeah
There we go. Fixed it. Fixed it. Okay. Page one, front cover. Bears. Perfect. And then inside cover, crossword puzzle. It's beautiful. Page one, bear facts. They like porridge. Dogs and bears have a common ancestor, apparently. Watch out for them around bird feeders. Hang your food up if you're camping. Where's page two? Here it is. Bear types. Squeeze champ and fighter. Koalas are not bears and they suck. Three, top five fictional bears. Of course, Paddington number one by like a terrifying margin. Huge margin. Pooh Bear number two. Funshine Bear number three. Foozy the Bear <laughs> number four. And then everybody else is tied for fifth. Page four, color by num bears. I love this zine. This this turned out way better than I thought it would. <laughs> Interview with a bear. Nope. This doesn't this needs a an apostrophe. That's a bit heavy handed apostrophe. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. And then the back cover just like melts your brain. Man, this tool was really cool. What was that one called? Eggs, I think. All right. I think it's still a work in progress, so I'm not sure if the exporting function works right now, but let's see. Oh, oh, I think it worked. Export to desktop. Turn your zine into a cute HTML booklet. Whoa. Oh, that's a whole other thing. That's a whole other thing over there. Yeah, this is a fun zine maker. So yeah, catch another stream of this Wednesday, July 1st at 11 a.m. PST with Marty, Marty Campos and Jesse Vigil. If you have a game to submit, oh wait, if you want to get this game, go to Alien Melon, who made this game. Beautiful work. Itch.io slash electric zine maker. The zine jam is going on now. That's the Addy for that. Addy for thatty. I should submit this zine to the jam. And if you have a game to submit to Indicade, I've had two games in Indicade before. Ultimate Super Nightball, which is a big group game, and Swords, my card game. We're in Indicade. And this is the Indicade summer series thank you for joining me and uh join indicate again on wednesday i believe that is the next stream if you're on easy allies chat right now uh brad is about to stream uh breath of the wild so have fun with that thank you everybody bye